Welcome to Hindsight 2021 for the third week of March. I'm Damian Musiani, and here's your news. Leading off from the red state that brought you a religion delivered by a white salamander, please look that up, the Black Rifle Coffee Company in Salt Lake City, Utah has bonded caffeine to the Second Amendment by releasing totally non-offensive coffee blends with names like AK-47 Espresso Blend and Murdered Out Roast. Not exactly items you would associate with progressivism, but you be the judge. Here is the Black Rifle corporate family. Ah, uh, you see that? Some have ball caps on, some don't. That, my friend, is diversity. The Mormon, the merrier. Although, to be fair, maybe they do have a token minority employee taking the picture. Who knows? Not to be outdone, left-wing companies are fighting back with their own outrage-inducing ideas. Hindsight sources expect to see new campaigns, like the Lowe's chain of hotels offering a new Lowe's v. Wade room upgrade with extra clothes hangers. Subaru could launch their new Wokeback model, available with either an automatic transmission or the cancel culture clutch. And we're awaiting the announcement of Starbucks' delicious new $15 an hour minimum wage macchiato, which they will offer free of charge to all customers who race bait their employees with a smartphone. Once again, we have to look outside the U.S. for any trace of sanity, and we found it in France. Wait, we found sanity in France. Right, at the French Oscar Awards in Paris, known as the Caesars, actress Corinne Maziero pulled an I'ma let you finish move and took to the stage during the black tie ceremony dressed in a blood-soaked donkey costume with matching tampon earrings. Thinking that she looked like an ass, Maziero removed all of her clothing except for the tampons, right? Because France. All in a protest over why theaters have been closed down for a year there. You see, Corinne, it's because of this thing called a pandemic. If France left all the theaters open in 2020, then you might have caught COVID yourself and been too sick to pull this stunt. Wait, we're with you, Corinne. France, please open up all your theaters right away. Meanwhile, back again in the U.S., recent news of a breakup between Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez appeared to be premature. Sources reported that the pair called off their engagement last week, but they've released a joint statement that those reports are inaccurate. This probably comes as a shock to A-Rod's reality star girlfriend, Madison LaCroix, who is blonde, 21 years younger than J-Lo, and is only admitted to innocently constantly texting and camming privately with A-Rod for the last six months. Sounds like an unconscious coupling to me. At least this gives Lopez more time to spend with her one true love. You know who that is. Hindsight hopes for a happy ending here. We wish nothing but the best of luck to you both. I, I mean, the three of you. Godspeed. And that's your news. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week with Fresh Hindsight.